So over the last, what, week and a half or so, um, Rihanna's been on a bit of a promo drive for her Fenty beauty brand. Um, she's been out all over the world promoting it. And recently she went to, I think, Shanghai um, to go promote her brand. And um, she's been get she's you know, she's been getting a lot of kind of viral attention there because of the outfit she's been wearing, but mostly because of her ability to recognize old school fans and faces. It's quite unprecedented. So this one particular video went kind of viral on my side of the interwebs, where Rihanna is seen, you know, walking through some area where she's promoting her brand, and she happens to spot somebody in the crowd that she recognized from back in the day, and kind of goes over and hugs this person. It's a really cute video. Let me show you what I mean. Hey, So most likely this guy, I don't, know, I don't know much about Rihanna's fan base. I don't know much about her stands and stuff. But I'd imagine this Asian dude is somewhat, you know, probably an Asian correspondent over there when it comes to Rihanna's fan club. Maybe a very well-known person with a Rihanna stand account. Whatever it may be, um, Rihanna remembered this guy's face from all those years. Imagine all the people Rihanna's bumped into throughout her flipping career as a pop artist. And obviously even more so now with her career um, doing business and whatever it may be. So many events, so many flipping red carpets, so many shin digs, so many chin wags, wherever maybe she seems to have this really uncanny knack for remembering her face now some people describe it as like an you know old caribbean auntie thing which a lot of them have i think my parents are like that as well even though they're not caribbean they're african they do have that thing about just recognizing faces which is why it was always kind of funny when we were younger and you maybe see your parents outside and you try and act like you didn't see them they'd be like bro I, you came out of my body, man. I know how you walk. I know the shape of your back. I know everything about it. I can see you. I mean, you can't just pretend you didn't see me type of thing. So that was always fucking hilarious. And when you go back home, you usually got in way more trouble than you would have if you just would have said hi to your parents in front of the people, um, you know, that you're probably not meant to hang around with. But anyway, with that being said, I thought that was a pretty cool video, right? And I really did kind of enjoy it. And I thought it was, um, it kind of went to sh kind of show you, I don't know, the human side of Rihanna. It was meant to show you like how kind of chill, laid back, you know, down to earth she appears to be despite her being a mega celebrity billionaire type woman she doesn't seem to be super stuck up or super up on her own ass or whatever it may be so i tweeted what i what i tweeted on the screen and i read it to you if you're not watching um, the actual video i said how is rihanna this nice to random fans out in china but juliana huxtable basically told me to fuck off with her eyes when i tried to say hi when i bumped into her at panorama bar the embarrassment was real but we move now in this particular tweet i don't think i was being mean by sharing this story that i've shared i think on this podcast a few times and i shared it more so in the perspective of being kind of embarrassed and also kind of understanding that maybe in your head wherever the interaction is you're thinking of in like I, I think sometimes when it comes to like interactions with well-known people let's not call them celebrities let's just call them celebrities because that's the best way to kind of describe it just to kind of give this story context and to kind of make it make sense i think when you're thinking about interacting with a celebrity the more you think about it the less you should probably do it because i feel like the thinking about it kind of gets you in your own head and then that kind of translates how you act and that can kind of weird people out especially when it's a woman it's just a different kind of interaction. I just think you have to be a little bit careful about how you interact, especially at night, especially in nightlife, especially in a club like Panorama Bar Burger. You know what I mean? It's just a different type of vibe. You have to kind of watch your P's and Q's and whatever. So I probably should have been a bit more mindful of the situation I was in, the scenario, and maybe left it to a, like a little kind of, you know, salute from afar and not kind of went up to her, do you know what I mean? And kind of, you know, got in her grill and shit type of thing. Maybe that's what I should have done. Now, in my defense, I don't remember I don't remember me being overtly pushy, overtly in her face or whatever maybe. But again, I was under the influence. I can't really, you know, cat I can't really say categorically that I didn't do X, Y, and Z. I can't really remember, but I don't remember me being like out of hand. I just remember being like, hey, what's up? You know, blah, blah. Um, and trying to say something nice. Or what, I forgot what, what type of like quick word I tried to say. And not being met by the nicest, warmest reply. Which is a kind of a contrast because I think five minutes before that, I think it was N. Balkma, N. Balkman, uh, N. Balkhammer, sorry, I forgot how you pronounce his name. Um, the resident obviously over there at Panorama Bar, he does usually pr um, plays there. And um, he was really nice. Um, God Jansen also, I met like towards the toilet area, clearly come out of a toilet cubicle, you know, my eyes dart all over the place and he was really chill. So it was a really weird contrast between those two guys and her. Now again, they're two white dudes, they're, they're dudes, it's probably a different interaction, different type of vibes, whatever it may be. And there's a story I keep sharing because I find it so embarrassing and so funny, but it's also for me like a cautionary tale, just leave people alone.
I've said this before many times on here and I've kind of been very strict about it apart from, you know, sometimes a DJ might re reach out to me on DMs or whatever and say hi for me covering a certain thing or just, you know, maybe tell me, you know, keep doing what you're doing, which is one thing, which is nice to kind of see from time to time. But in terms of me going out of my way to kind of, you know, try and make friends with these people, it's never really been my MO really. I never really cared about that sort of thing. I'm mostly in it for the raves and the vibe. So I'm not really, I, I don't know, I'm not really like DJ celebrity obsessed, um, which I probably should be. Maybe it would help help get entry to certain type of places but i don't know i like being a commoner I, not commoner i like being a regular raver right i love being a pedestrian i love looking at this stuff as a fan i'm not an industry head at all zero i know nothing about the industry i just kind of comment on what i see on the internet so it's kind of nice to see anyway i tweeted what i tweeted there about rihanna and her interaction and maybe it was a bit mean a bit underhanded to include that juliana huxtable kind of anecdote but it's also just something that i tweeted on my twitter i didn't tag or anything you know i mean i'm not looking for a clout just something i just commented on my own side of things well unfortunately for me unfortunately for me it did get the attention of one juliana huxtable and she i don't know no. she wasn't too pleased i don't think so she tweeted um she quote tweeted my tweet and just put question mark nothing else no comment no like clarification no nothing no and no nothing no even words the same type of response that I got in real life, I got the same one too. Do you know what I mean? That's a funny thing. So people might people might want to contest my version of events and might want to paint me out to be like a bit of a misogynist, a bit rude, a bit presumptuous, blah, 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 blah. But this tweet reply basically encapsulates how I felt at the in the interaction when I bumped into a panel over. Because legitimately, I was so hyped. I was on the dance floor. She had just finished playing. I caught the last like hour or something. And I was really, oh my God, this she's so fucking sick. Da, 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 da. So hype, so hype, so hype, so hype. I decided to, you know, in that hypeness to go over to her and say hi when the, when I said finish. I think I just left the toilet. And I think I actually just had said hi to like Gerdy Answer or something. I came from the Panama, Panama Bar toilets. I was walking back to the Panama Bar dance floor. I saw Gerdy Answer standing there and he's buttoned up white shirt next to the couches near the toilets talking to somebody. I said, hey, um, I'm a big fan. He said, yep, no problem. Um, thanks so much for your support. Headed over to the dance floor and I saw Adriana Huxable standing next to like, the, the pillars with somebody else. And again, it's it's seared in my brain because I'm, I remember how it felt. And I remember going over to her and saying something like, oh, like, hey, a big fan. I love the set. Something, something to those kinds of effects. I remember her just turning around and just like looking at me like, who the fuck are you? Like, it was just like, I'm really like uh, okay, like, yuck like kind of like she was surprised that no uh, to read into it kind of like um you're surprised that that's your fan like yuck i don't want that to be my fan do you know what i mean like, like some also that's what i felt like anyway i could be wrong i could be fucking reading into it too much but that's how i felt and um i think this tweet basically is a representative representation sorry of that interaction because you know no one's saying that she has to act like fucking rihanna right no one's saying that but i think what i was trying to get at with my tweet was that how is somebody as famous as Rihanna who has so much, um, you know, who has so many people kind of trying to get in her face, loads of clout goblins and just needy people and stuff. How is she this personable? Even if it's fake, even if it's performative, yet somebody that you would describe as a sort of micro celebrity doesn't have any, <laughs> doesn't feel any way of like just dismissing you completely that's that's the thing because you would imagine that interaction i spoke about with julian huxtable you can imagine that happening with rihanna and it'll make more sense right it would make a lot more sense okay cool rihanna's like kind of a bit standoffish a bit cold doesn't really like interesting people and she's not really i mean it's not that much friendly so you can you can kind of get it right the amount of time she's kind of had people kind of get in her face and want how again whatever da, 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 be a little bit overly friendly da, 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 da. cool but you would think with somebody as a bit more of a smaller profile that maybe you know, a bit somewhat smaller, a bit more of a hyper specified, you know, narrowed down kind of profile. Because Julian Hospital is still very big in her own way. Um, you'd think they'd be a little bit more nice, a bit more personal, but a bit more warm. Now, to her defense, it wasn't a nightclub. It was at, at some ungodly hour. She is a touring DJ. You know, maybe it didn't have enough sleep, whatever it may be. Maybe my approach is terrible. Who fucking knows? But I just find the reply to be so fucking hilarious because this is exactly how I felt in real life. Now, the uh, funny thing about it was the people in the comments who were lighting me up, essentially. Now, I understand why, because a lot of these people are probably Junior Huxable's friends, but they were really giving me the business in the replies. They were, like, making it seem like I was, I don't know, what they basically made me seem like. But I heard of, heard of a, 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 a phrase I've never heard of before. It's like, what's it called? I think it's mis misogynoir. 
which is basically being misogynistic to like black women it's like huh like okay whatever right but so, you know look at people in the comments um you got frankie from um what you call it i forgot what the fucking uh thing was called before uh from this woman which is now disbanded saying you're literally so nice to me um shy boy saying basically told me to fuck up with the eyes i'm sending me's I don't know what that means. Um, I ran into the hospital and Shy Boy again. So Shy Boy was so disgusted by what I said that Shy Boy commented the next day. I ran into Gina Huxtable and from her eye contact, I knew she wasn't going to offer me one of her kidneys. That's not what I said, basically, right? I didn't, I obviously didn't say that. I obviously tried to make it seem as self deprecating as possible. But again, you realize on Twitter that no matter how you word things, if people want to understand, if people want to understand it the way that they want to understand it and take offense to it, they're going to take offense to it. So that's why sometimes I feel like now I get why people just let it ring on Twitter because people just are going to interpret how you say things the way they want it to be interpreted so that they can get annoyed. You know, they're kind of looking to get pissed off um, because I could obviously because I mentioned their friend's name. They don't want to see their friend get trashed, especially for a black man, a straight black man who they kind of see as the enemy. I'd, Im I'd imagine maybe that's the case. I don't really think so. I, I would hope not because that's kind of lame as well. But, um, you know, you never know. Um, another person, DJ Swisher. Uh, replies back with a crying face emoji another person says um how can you tell someone to fuck off with their eyes i need to learn that immediately you know what i mean though you know exactly what i mean it wasn't the most friendliest of um interactions she definitely didn't make it she definitely she definitely made me aware that i shouldn't stay any longer in that particular area that she was in you know <laughs> you know some people like invite you in with their smile with their eyes oh yeah hi nice to meet you. what's your name like she made it seem like yeah you said your hi you said your thank yous now go on your way boy which is again which is okay you don't owe me nothing but i just thought you know it was a bit out of order a little bit sad personally but hey what can you do um river moon says whoa another person here says i ordered the poster and i either never received it or someone stole it our mailbox is on the street crown heights in brooklyn i don't know i just want a poster it's been two years okay i don't know what this person's talking about another person says was it with germans him and the limo girl gotta be roommates i'm not german but okay another one says meanwhile the eyes at panama bar aren't even looking the same direction that's that's a good point to be fair Maybe I didn't remember it, right? Maybe I was too fucked up and I actually didn't remember what happened and I'm kind of projecting and I'm kind of, you know, whatever it may be. That, that could be possible. Um, another person says, you said it with your eyes. Again, laughing at the whole thing. Another one says, LMO, is everyone okay? Another one says, I've never been so much, I've never seen so much insecurity in one tweet. What the fuck? But that's the whole point of it. It is a lot of insecurity, but that's the that's the whole point. It's meant to be self-deprecating. It's meant to show a little bit of insecurity. It's meant to show a little bit of vulnerability. But for some reason, it's been seen as me kind of taking the piss or insulting somebody. I don't know. I don't really know. I really, 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 really don't know. Um, another one says, um, you should always go out of your way to hug and fawn over every single person who glances your direction. Again, I didn't glance... <laughs> I didn't glance in her direction. I went up to her and said hi, and she was not very warm. That's it. It's not like I, I didn't glance over. What? Glance over? Okay, cool. And that was Mr. Cakes. You know, I don't know what that means. Another person here says, Lord, that one needs help. Cool. I guess I need help, which is true. I probably do need some psychiatric, psychological, psychiatric help. Another one says, with her eyes, question mark. Another one says, he'll, he'll always have a bout blank or praise to queens making our dance for a saver. Don't know what that means. That got all that from they got all that from one look. Why are people making it seem as if like you can't you can't transmit a things with look? That's a really good emoji, by the way. That's a really good gif. The weekend in that vid music video, yeah, scaring the scaring the girls. And that one says, I don't know, you were pretty nice to me when I came up to me at Car when I came up to you at Carmelo's. Um, but yeah, um, cool. And that one says the nerve, smizing for self care. And that one says insane. Basically, no one, you know, no one's really agreeing with me, which makes sense because it's her tweet. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. I was a fan of. Another one says LMFAO. Another one says I'm... So, essentially, everyone's kind of agreeing with the way that she um, had maybe reacted to me in the flipping club. Now, all this to conclude with this as follows. I think as a general rule, personally, I think as a general rule, you should probably not try to meet people that you look up to on the internet or people that you're into or people that you're fans of just let it be a communication or an interaction that you kind of deal with online and then if you have those rare occasions where you bump into them in real life and it happens to be cool a great but don't go out of your way to try to introduce yourself to try and be friendly people it's not necessary it really isn't because most of the time nine times out of ten it's an everyday experience for them it's work for them and it's not that much of a it's not as a they don't care about the interaction as much as you do you're putting way more 
of your hopes and expectations into it as per you're just another to them you're just another face right that they see in the festival scene the club scene just relax so i think that's what i've taken away from it so even though i don't think i was in the wrong i understand how i can kind of be viewed weirdly for saying what i said relating to the rihanna thing i could have just said oh rihanna was so nice to her fans and not mentioned junior huxtable in there but it's something that's always been on my back of my head because of how much how embarrassing the situation is which i kind of detailed of course in the tweet they're being self quite self deprecating about it but i also can understand why somebody else especially her could view it and be like oh this guy no one yeah i was right to treat him like a piece of shit because look at one of the things he's talking about he's still commenting about this months you know this has maybe happened two years ago or three years ago and they're still talking about it. so maybe she's like yeah i was vindicated i was right to call you know to kind of give him fuck you eyes with my i was, tr I was right to tell him to fuck off with my eyes because look, he's still fucking talking about this situation that happened fucking ages ago. So I can understand why they're thinking that way. I kind of get it. But, you know, I would have just hoped it would have went another way. I would have hoped it would have went another way. But again, like I said, I think it's a good lesson for all, a good lesson for me especially, to just kind of leave those interactions to be what they are on the interwebs. You don't need to always try and be friends with people. Um, I don't ever try to be friends with people anyway, to be fair. I do just try to kind of acknowledge people's greatness and say, oh my God, that was fucking amazing and just keep it moving. I feel I'm quite good at that kind of like stop and chat type of thing, keeping the interaction short and sweet and moving on. I rarely even ask for pictures or like DMs or whatever. I'm just kind of, you know, just kind of giving you a heads, a kind of a salute in real life. But also understand I could be the, I could be the 1,000th person that's done that. I could be the 200th or the 12th. Either way, it's annoying because you've had to interact with people by force in that kind of way all the time. So I kind of get it. So I understand. I completely, completely understand.